hi guys welcome back to the channel this is eco designs to fit and if you're coming here for the very first time my name is chiwendu a nigerian based youtuber um sewing vlogger based in abuja so today's story you're going to be learning how to make this under boss corset belt it is very simple and easy to learn and if this is what you are interested in please stay tuned until the end of this tutorial now you guys these are the materials you're going to be needing for this tutorial so we have the fabric here i have just one yard of material and my st of course that is the feasible interface i have a boning i have two types of boning here because i don't know the one i'm going to use right now so i have a regling boning and a plastic boning so what you are going to do is to start drafting out your pattern okay so i've marked out the starting line and from there i marked out the bust point on the bust and then the length of the corset belt so now i'm going ahead to connect the lines and from here you're going to have to divide your shoulder into two and mark it out and right from there again go down by eight inches and that is half of your armhole which will be serving as your chest line all right and once you are done with that you're going to have to come down by one inch and then connect your chest line and for the shoulder slope you're going to connect that into the shoulder line okay so once you are done with that go ahead and divide your round measurement by four and then input what you have do that for both your bust your waist and then every other part of the body that you're going to be needing now i went ahead to connect all the lines and um if you have been following my tutorial it's not a new thing that i like coming out by half an inch just for my armhole ease but which you are not going to be needing here so the next step is for you to divide your nipple to nipple measurements by two so my nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches divided by two is four so from the center front i came out by four inches and connected the line down to the hem okay so at this point i'm trying to mark out the lines so from the center front again i'm coming in by half an inch and then i did that to the under bust point and connected the line okay so once you're done with that you're going to note what you have in between your bust point and your under bust all right so for me i have four inches now to connect my dart you're going to come down from the bust point by one inch and on the waistline you're going to come in and out by half an inch and then you connect your dart legs okay so now remember the four inches that i told you that i noted which i have in between my bust point and my under bust i'm going to have add half an inch to it because our bust is fuller at the side so but then i'm going to use that four inches for the center front and then i'm going to go ahead and mark it out so now that we are done with that we are going to have to connect all our that that we took out we are going to have to replace that plus our seam allowance so for my seam allowance i made use of 1.5 inches okay after i replaced my that i added this 1.5 inches so now we are basically done with the front pattern and we are going to go ahead and cut this out so after you cut this out you are going to cut off your darts and then put this together and use it to cut out the back okay so for the back i'm just going to trace this out because i don't need any zip allowance but if you need a zip to be at the back 
you can make use of that for me i'm going to be using a loop so i'm going to be forming a lacing bar for this okay now because i want the my loop to be pro prominent so i went ahead to minus three inches right from the center back and after i minus this i cut this out so this circle that i'm trying to mark out in, um, in the case that i'm going to be using a lacing bar right there so now i brought in my fabric so i'm going to go ahead and cut this okay so after i cut this this is what i have you can see that i inserted half an inch all around it aside the side which i have added the stitching allowance and to the damp part i added one inch okay that would be for my hemming all right so i did it for both front and the back and you guys if you notice i use the same fabric for both my lining and my actual piece okay so this is my actual piece and this is the lining So the next thing i'm going to do is to arrange this in place just the way i'm going to be stitching it okay so i'm going to take my sides um fronts and join into my center front okay so but before that you're going to have to use your pin to hold this down so i'm making use of my pin right now and once you are done holding this down you're going to go on to your so you machine and stitch using half an inch all right so after we stitch this this is what we have remember you are going to do the same thing for your lining so what you are doing on your actual fabric you are going to repeat the same thing on your lining so this is the side um center back so you are going to bring it in and join to the front okay and remember that i my stitching allowance is 1.5 inches so that is what i use and after i did that i cut off the ss allowance which i'm not going to be needing anymore because this is just like um going to be making it an inseam sewing okay so once you are done with that you're going to go on and bring in your bias tape and this bias tape you're going to be using it to form your your boning channels okay so right now i'm going to be placing my boning channels right in place wherever i need the boning to be so just arrange it the way you can see me doing right now using your pins hold it down and then go on to your stitching machine and stitch this down on your fabric so after we are done stitching this down this is what we have and now you are going to bring in your boning so this is the boning this is what it looks like and this is called a plastic boning and this is um quarter of an inch plastic boning so i've gone ahead to cut this and now i'm trying to trim out the edges you need to trim out these edges because if you don't do that it's going to be poking you or disturbing your client and that won't be nice it's going to be making you uncomfortable and then so what you're going to do is to measure where you want your boning to b and then you have to consider that you are going to need a space because this is not a soyable boning so if you are using the ridge line you can leave that because it's soyable but this plastic one is not that soyable so you need to leave about what i do is to leave about one and a half inch because i need three quarter of an inch 0 0.75 upward and 0 0.75 down okay so that is to turn the upper part and the down part okay so this is what i do well you can as well leave one inch but for me i like leaving half an inch so after i um, input all this my boning i'm going to go ahead and bring in my lining piece so before you turn this your lining piece make sure 
that the the actual fabric and your lining piece aligns just as you can see me okay trying to check right now and now this is the way i'm going to fix it so after i turned this and i stitch this this is what we have and you have to go ahead and notch your stitching allowances and go right to your ironing table iron this to lay flat okay so after you notch this you're going to go ahead and turn this out so right now i'm trying to notch it and once i am done and satisfied and when you're notching make sure not to um get to where you stitch because this can make you go over again and start stitching um this all right so this is what we are going to be doing but before that we are going to have to turn this out to the right side okay so remember that when you are stitching you have to place it um, right side facing each other and once you are done stitching this and then notching you're going to have to make sure that you bring out all your seams very well okay and to do this you have to use a pointy object just as you can see me doing right now i'm using my scissors but i won't advise you to use your scissors if you are a beginner because scissors is very sharp and it can go ahead and give your dress a hoe if you don't carefully use it so i would advise you use a pointy object which is not sharp all right so uh, right now i'm trying to bring out all my seam allowance which may be inside okay and again i'm going to bring in a plastic boning again and i'll be using this to form my underwire okay if you don't have the if you don't want to make use of a boning you can go ahead and then look for a a bra that you are not using you can bring out the underwire and you can as well go to the market and buy this if you get one for yourself because i haven't seen okay i've been trying but i haven't seen so now and again to fix this i would advise that you use your zipper foot because if you use a normal footer it won't um it will be very hard and again why fixing this what i noticed you know that we fixed our boning on the channels before fixing this that is what i showed you here but behind the scene i went ahead to remove all the bonies that i placed right there okay and fix this before fixing my boning back all right that is behind the scene that you didn't see and now i'm telling you okay so after we did this this is what we have now you're going to have to sandwich all this in and then turn the hem and this is where the work lies okay you have to do this carefully this can be very very hard to achieve but you have to try you have to try to get this all right you are going to get it no doubt so but just try your best so you are going to have to sandwich um this inwards just as you can see me doing so getting to that center front yeah you have to bend the boning in okay before you'll be able to sew this okay so after you sewed it you are going to have to turn this and turning this can be very very difficult to achieve so you have to do this gradually because of that boning is inwards okay it's going to be be, um, be a little bit difficult but you just have to try so you can see the way i'm trying to bring up mine gradually so after i brought this out you would see that this was looking all nice and clean you guys you don't want to you don't want to see how this was looking okay so i tried bringing this out and this is it and yes you can see that finally it came out 
finally the rock has fallen you guys so and i tried arranging the bonings back again because because of turning these the boning was like trying to bend and all that so try and arrange all your bonings um properly well and then you guys this is what we have so to the center back we are going to have to join our lacing bar okay so we are going to have to use this bias tape okay fold it inward you're going to have to fold the edge inward and then go right to your sewing machine and use a straight stitch to hold it down okay this is just for us to create our lacing bars okay and this is the lacing bar and i went ahead to cut this out so i used 2.5 inches as interval to cut this out and then we are going to have to insert this at the upper parts okay that is folding your the opening at the center back inward you insert it and use your pin to hold it i don't know if you get what i mean and then you are going to repeat the same thing to the down and then the space in between you are going to have to measure it divide it into two and again from there you have to divide whatever is remaining into two again and then after i was done dividing this i got five for each part so five, um, five for the left and five for the right so um now i'm going to go onto my sewing machine and then sew in all this and after we were done this is what we have so you guys we are literally done with this tutorial you're going to go onto your ironing table and give this a good press and again i use my actual fabric to form a loop for these belts and yes this is what we have so i'm going to go ahead and lace it up for you guys to see so if you enjoy every bit of this tutorial please do give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done yet i will see you in my next one bye